Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 10th of 2021. Well, it is titled fire in space. So what do we see here? Well, we looking at a example from the International Space Station and from what is called its combustion integration rack. And what we see is a spherical flame. We note that the fire spreads out in a spherical flame. And that is quite different than the patterns that we see here on Earth. We get more of a teardrop shape as the heated air expands up against gravity. So we get things quite different. And as we experiment in space, we begin to learn more about how things work here on Earth, because we tend to get biased by the fact that we are constantly used to gravity and gravity pulling down and giving things like the fire its distinctive shape. But when you have to work out in space, things are quite different. So looking in the long term for eventual travel to Mars and to the outer part of the solar system, if we are going to look at human travel going that way, we have to see how the body will hold up and how things will work in space for extended periods of time. And that's why experiments have been done keeping astronauts up for longer and longer periods of time to see how we can keep the body functioning properly. And then think about it, our bodies developed to be within a gravitational field. So in ways our bodies depend on that gravity for things like our muscles, muscles, and uh, you end up losing a lot of muscle tone being up in space because you're muscles do not have to work against gravity every day as they do here on Earth. So we are continuing to study things like that and how flames work. And you can see all of the little spherical components within the larger spherical region here when we have fire going out in space. Now I should qualify just to to, or to clarify this is that the fire still does require oxygen so nothing will burn in space itself within an oxygen environment you can have things burning as we see in the image here today but if you put any kind of fire out in space then it would be immediately extinguished in that because we need oxygen for fire to burn now people have questioned then well why is the sun burning and the answer is well it's not the sun is actually just a very hot ball of gas so the outer layers of the sun are not actually burning they are just regions of very high temperature where energy has been transferred from an even hotter interior to the outer layers but it is not burning in the conventional sense that we are used to uh, talking about here on earth so that is why something like the sun is able to appear like it's on fire even though it truly is not it is not burning oxygen and the combustion of oxygen is what we think of here uh, on earth and when we talk about fire so that was our picture of the day for August the 10th of 2021 it was titled fire in space we'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be bubble cloud row so we'll see what that is about tomorrow and until then have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.